Hi everybody, in this video uh, we're going to be talking about the scroll view. So let's get started. When you click scroll view, we get this scroll view game object. As you can see, we get this little scroll view down here. Let's go to the scene. And uh, in my previous video, I showed you how to make this overlay over here. So this canvas over here, snap onto this uh, little camera canvas over here. So I'm going to do that real quick. I just like uh, working like that. It's easier for me, but it's really up to you how you want to work. So now as you can see, it snapped onto here. I'm going to grab the scroll view. I'm going to move it to the middle so you guys can see it. I'm going to adjust it. Okay, much bigger. So this was the scroll view. If you guys have seen my previous videos, this is the scroll view I was talking about. Uh, that I was talking about this inspector, how it has this little scroll view handle which it has right here uh, there's also a bottom one now um, to get started the scroll view has a viewport it has this scroll bar horizontal and vertical both of them just have a scroll bar and they're both uh, set one set bottom to top the other one set left to right and then if you open it it has you know the sliding area the handle all that um, it's pretty much what this scroll bar has I have a video on that if you want to know more about that so uh, I'll skip that for now the viewport viewport has the content this is where what we care about this is what we want to add our content into so if we have text or images or whatever we want to add this is where we want to add it to so let's add let's say a component right here let's add some text so we add a text component and then we're gonna increase the size of the text and of course add something so there's something to see and we're just gonna put hi everyone again now the reason we're doing it so big is that that way we don't have to retype a bunch uh, or copy and paste a bunch of uh, this text again so the trick to this is so actually let me show you what happens right now when I hit play we're gonna jump onto our game view right now we're in the scene view we'll jump to the game view oh I have our my simulator on in my previous video I talked about the simulator a bit the device simulator um, it's a package I downloaded a preview a preview package that unity has right now it's uh, as of 2020 uh, 0.1.3 f1 version this is still a preview package. I'm not sure if the uh, newer version already, if this package is already out of preview. But anyways, if I hit play now again, it's gonna send me to this. As you can see, it cuts off. As you can see, I could move everything as you would expect. Now you could see that the horizontal and vertical scroll bars disappeared. If you want to show them, what you could do is I just want to show the horizontal Wait, is it hor no the vertical so what I could do is go to actually the scroll view go to visibility where it says vertical scroll bar and instead of auto hide and expand viewport I'm gonna click permanent so it's gonna be permanently on there so it's gonna be permanently on there and then if I hit play again as you can see it's just this permanent viewport now, as you can see, I can still move side or uh, left and right. Now, if I don't want that, what I could do is all I have to do is right here where it says horizontal. So any one that you do not want to move, just uncheck. So if you don't want to move up and down, uncheck the vertical. If you don't want to move left and right, check the horizontal. If I hit play again now, as you can see, I can move up and down, but I cannot move left and right. And then after that, I'm going to show you what this content does. If I go back to the scene view, I'm going to duplicate this text or copy and paste this text a bunch of times. Kind of fix it a bit. Now, as you can see, of course, it cuts off. Now, when I drag this content down, if you see right here, this scroll or this, yeah, the scroll bar, it gets shorter and shorter, indicating that there's space to scroll downwards. So I'm just gonna scroll, let's say right there. Now, if you wanna see how far your content goes, 
all you have to do is go to I think it's the viewport right here and show mask or not show mask graphic uh, sh just disable this and as you can see mine just goes up to there so I'm gonna duplicate it actually one more time as you can see mine goes all the way down there I turn on the mask now when I hit play as you can see it's cut off but when I scroll you can see it you can see the scroll bar has a little gap and I show in a previous video how to adjust the colors on these if you want to adjust the color though on the, um, the little panel right here all you do is go to the viewport and then uh, well actually not the viewport the scroll view and then you could just change it any color you want you could even make it darker keep a little fade on it and yeah that's pretty much it for the the scroll view now real quick I'm going to talk about the event system the event system anytime you make any UI object so let me delete this and let me delete this so let's say I make a, a drop down it will create a canvas and an event system let's say you have or you want to create a canvas of course it's just going to create uh, this event system the event system don't delete don't do anything with it because if you do any buttons that you have on your UI or your canvas will not work so leave the event system on the event system pretty much has two components well three if you count the transform it has the event system and the standalone input module the standalone input module is of course if you're doing a standalone build it lets you uh, control or be able to use these axes to select buttons so as you can see submit button cancel button it could also it also lets you input actions per second so every 10 seconds input actions uh, it could repeat delay every 0.5 seconds so delays uh, the repeat of uh, this component or of this script and then force module active so if you want to force it to be active uh, all the time and then it also has this event system event system uh, it has first selected I've tried selecting stuff and seeing if anything gets added nothing gets added and there's also send navigation events I unclicked this and clicked it not sure what it does it probably um, what I'm guessing is it sends uh, navigational events so the events when you're scrolling and stuff like that navigating through a scroll view and all that stuff and there's also drag threshold which gives a drag to gives how can I say it? gives I don't want to say a drag to the drag but slows down the drags uh, makes the drag heavier stuff like that but yeah that's the event system you never really have to do anything with it unless you're doing a standalone and you want to change these axes but uh, when you do go to the the reference page it does right here say that the horizontal axes vertical axes says type the desired manager name for the horizontal axis button the vertical axis submit button all that so um yeah as you can see force module active it enables the property to force this standalone to be active and then the repeat delay delays in seconds before the input actions per second repeat rate take uh rate takes effect so it delays the seconds before the script uh actions uh per second repeat take effect but that's it for that there's also documentation of it if you guys don't know unity has its own documentation um it shows you pretty much everything it has unity 2d it has scripting it has audio virtual reality it has all the documentation of how to work this game engine so of course there's thousands and thousands of pages of just content so uh, check that out i'll leave a description below as well let me check how much time we got left so i'm gonna wrap it up here uh, in the next video i'm most likely gonna talk about um let me see right here we're gonna go over here and we're gonna create empty game object and we're just gonna talk about all these components here new script of course we'll probably do at the end i'll show you how to make a script and uh we're gonna i don't know if we'll skip 2d animation or not because this is experimental but we might do that i'll see if not uh ar i'm gonna show you what all these are audio effects uh, event event here i'm gonna show you playables are what tile map is 
I'm gonna show you what all these components are. I'm gonna show you how you can use them in a project. So stay tuned for that. So if you want to see videos like that, please subscribe. It will really mean a lot to me. It will really help the channel grow and help more people out there that want to see content like this. And please hit the like button as well to help this uh, channel. And thank you once again. Uh, once we hit 10 subscribers, I want to give an asset away. Of course, I don't know. I'm not sure how to give just my subscribers something because I would like just to give my subscribers something. So if you guys have any ideas, leave it uh, in the comments below. Uh, if you guys know how I could, per well, not personally, but how I could give each subscriber something instead of just leaving a link of an asset and anybody watching the video could see it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys figure it out, figure an idea out, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Once again.